the homie Pharaoh, man, brought up a good topic yesterday. He asked me, he said, hey, uh, OG, can you explain, uh, you know, the origin to the to blood and crib and blah, blah, blah. So I started with blood. Since blood is the oldest, the word blood, as far as I knew, was the word blood was a universal word for black people. Hey, niece. Now, as far as I knew, the word blood, it was universal for black people. You know, it meant we was, you was black like me. You know, what's happening in blood? I mean, they used it in music. Um, uh, they started using it like the funk guys. They was using it in their music. Uh, what's happening blood and you know this and that and their music and song so uh, but the word blood it was universal for black people and why I say universal because they used it all around the world even Africans and Americans and people who was in London if they was black they said what's happening blood you know they called each other blood and that meant that we was black folks but uh, now when I was younger, and like I say, when 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 I was younger, yes, sir. Blood mean we was we was we was pe- we was people. That's what it meant. What's happening, blood? That meant you 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 was black like me, and and they called the little they called me young blood. What's happening, young blood? You know when they see you, and this and that and that. So. Everybody, everybody used that word, called each other that, if you was black, everybody did. Now, now, as far as like, Crip Gold Cubs, I can't explain. You know, if it was Crip, if it was Crip first, because there's a myth to it. And we don't have Raymond here to explain it. Now we had, it's Craig, Craig, Craig Ox still around. Then we we got Batman, cause we got we got a uh, uh, duck. Uh, we got the homie Frog, cause off the East Side too. That's out of Compton. Uh, I I didn't I didn't talk to quite a few hom- big brothers. You know the, the homies before me because I'm a first generation Crip, cause but I was a baby Crip though. You know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't with the big boys, but but I observed them and, 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 and watched them because I was flattered by them dudes, and I, I wanted to be like them. You know, I wanted to be like them guy. But when I was a young boy, my dream was to be a middle linebacker in the NFL. I wanted to play football when I was a kid. I mean, that that was my drive. I'm like, I want to play. Football. I want to be the middle linebacker. I want to. I want to stop people from getting a yard. I want them to get a yard on us. You know, I had that type of mentality, and I wanted to play football. That was my dream. But then the Crips came out, and I used to see the Crips, man, and I'm like, damn, who's these dudes, man? And you know, my cousin them was Crips, so I and they was in wants, but my well. My cousin was a grandy crip, though, a Compton crip. And and that's how I knew uh, Head Honcho and them and all, and all them do, because I used to observe them from back in the day. Now, as I grew up, I later on found out that that was like Mad Dog and, and, and Mac Thomas and all them dudes that was with my cousins and them. But I, like I say, I was small, cuz, and I really didn't know them dudes, I didn't run with them dudes like that, cuz, but I were around them, you know what I mean, and observing and, and checking them out, you know what I mean, and this go back as far as 1970, and I still remember Crip dudes addressing me as young blood, what's up young blood, when they spoke to me, now I remember the word cuz around 71, <clears throat> Now, I remember the word cuz around 71, around the time the hood session gang start coming out, cuz. 
Because, you know, it was, the, it was the east side, the west side, and the Compton Crips. That, that's all it was. It was the big three because it, it wasn't nothing else. It was just the east side Crips, the west side Crips, and it was the Compton Crips. Now, Mac Thomas came from the east side and put down the CC gang. Him, the, the big bro Ruben and, and Salty and them, they all behind that. So, uh, and then out of that came who assessing gangs. Now, it's still a myth on who was first. Now, now we kind of sure of it was the blocks, though, with Melvin Hardy. But the big bro, Baycock, believed the Grandies was, was started, started before. He said, Saga, I remember the Grandies before the blocks started. Because he said he had a girl that he was going with that lived in company. He said he used to cut through the and, I, and cut through and stop at the Grandies and holler at the homie Mr. X and the big homies, Mr. X rest in peace in them. On, on the way back to the West Side and, and Mr. X is the original West Side Crip who moved to Compton and was instrumental with the Grandies with the homies and the Grandies over there. You know what I mean? So Around the time the hood sets and gangs came out is when the Crips, you know, wanted their own identity because, you know, they wanted to be different from everybody else. So they didn't want to use blood like everybody else. So we started addressing each other as Cubs. What's happening, Cubs? What's up, Cub? You know, we, we felt it was keeping us all in the family. What's happening, Cub? You know, we wanted to be different. And we were different. We stood out from everybody else. You know, you could tell who the Crips were back in the day. You, you look and you knew who the Crips were because of their identity. You know, we didn't hide. We multiplied. We didn't hide. If you tuck your flag, you was a hook cause to us. You know, you couldn't tuck your rag and shit because if you walking down the street and you seen 15 power rules, all of a sudden they coming up the other direction. You, you ain't supposed to tuck your flag, cuz you're supposed to keep that motherfucker flagging, homie. You know what I mean? And that's how we got down, cuz. And, and if a nigga was caught tucking his flag and shit, and we found out about it, we'd say, cuz, we, 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 we discipline them, cuz. We, we whoop on their ass. We didn't, t- we didn't tolerate that. We didn't want no chumps with us, cuz. You know what I mean? And sometimes we used to be in a crowd and shit. We strolled and cut it, 15 of us. We run across. 15, 20 power rules, something, whatever, and we don't nothing go down, we just chat, whatever, whatever, whoa, whoa. And they say, oh, that's your homie saying? You're like, yeah, cuz, what, what's happening? And they say, oh, man, that nigga, man, told us he didn't bang. He, he tucked his flag and shit, I guess, you know. We like, we look at the nigga, we like, cuz, you tell these niggas you didn't bang, they hit you up, homie. You know what I mean? And shit like that, so, you know. You know that, that 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 you know that's how it was, cause back in the day, you know what I mean. But um, you know I heard Mitz it was Crip, C R I B first, and then I heard it went to Crip. You know I heard uh, the, the 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 big bro Raymond had a relative or something that was crippled or something. I'm not sure of it, or had a good friend that was. I heard rumors that um, somebody's brother was jumped on by the Brims or something, or, or some gang, and um, they crippled him. They put him on crutches. The Cribs say, no, we going to change the crib because from here on out, we going to cripple the motherfucker when we beat their ass. That's what I heard. But I don't know, because the truth to that, you know what I mean? I'm just telling y'all what I heard growing up as a little kid and all that. I have heard you. I had heard other people use crib, C R I B. It's crib, nigga, and I heard that. My daddy called us that. Boy, you you, you crib, y'all 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 something else. You know you know that's what my daddy used to say. He called us that. I don't know why, but he did. You know, but. But but A C Bobby Louis said no, there wasn't no crib. But he said people had baby crib stacked too on them. You know, like the crib. Because it was supposed to be a the concept from the cradle to the grave, supposedly. <laughs> Always hoping for a coup by fucking y'all. Always standing around for a coup by fucking y'all. Always standing around for a coup by fucking y'all.
Ain't nobody coming to protect us. We gotta start our own fucking life. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keeping people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week How the hell are we gonna lose? Hey, hey, where we gonna go? You tell me What we gonna this do? This ain't the waste Cause they ready to let loose How many ever we gonna lose? United States, President Trump If you lose, we shoot What we think on this? Come on Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, or were you when the revolution got started Black people fed up, more than dearly departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rally Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's alive. I'm trying to get it by any means that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. 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 The pigmentation of my skin, this current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibe, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification is I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going for it You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change in this coming, you better know I'm in here 31 Let's go to I sure wish we had Raymond, man. I sure wish we had Raymond, man. Cause, cause Raymond, cause he, he, he could, he could tell us all the truth, the exact truth, because it came out his mind, his head. It came from Cuz's head. Now, and I'm not saying he made it happen all along. I'm sure he had some partners he sat down with and said, "Man, what y'all think?" Ooh, 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 ooh. But it came from Cuz, man. But it came from him, Cuz. You understand? And, and, and that's the one fact, Cuz, we got to go on. That the first Crip, Cuz, the reason why it's Crips, Cuz, is Raymond Lee Washington. Raymond Lee Washington truck and I was told that they said he hit a nigga hard as a truck that's why they called him that 
She hit like a truck. Boom! Put a motherfucker on his ass. See, cuz wasn't ready about them guns. Let's get out, nigga. Let's go. You know what I mean? And that's what it was when I was growing up, cuz. Nigga like, nigga, what's up, blood? Nigga, I ain't your blood, nigga. Fuck, you don't call me no blood, cuz. What you wanna do, nigga? What you wanna do, nigga? Me and you head up, and we squabble. Boom, 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 boom. We squabble, cuz. That's what we did. You know, if you bled a little bit, you got your, you got your rag, you clean your little bloody nose up or whatever you do, you go to the bathroom, rinse your bloody mouth out or whatever, cuz, and you go on to the next motherfucking classroom, nigga. That's what we did. And if the teacher sent you to the who was you fighting, you don't tell them shit. I ain't getting, I fail. That's what we told them. When we was in junior high school, we had a principal that give you boxing gloves. Oh, you niggas want to fight? Come on to the gym. We used to fight in the back of the gym at Roosevelt Junior High School. Mr. Simmons. I wonder where Mr. Simmons at. Oh, y'all niggas want to fight? Come on. I got gloves for y'all. And he started walking around with them around his neck around the school. And he see niggas acting a fool, acting like they want to fight. Y'all want to fight? Come on. He take us to the back of the gym, allow the school to come back there and watch it. You know, but now it's the gun that makes these niggas now, cuz. A lot of motherfuckers without the gun, they ain't, they ain't shit, homie. Without a gun, they can't fight, they can't do none of that shit, cuz. I seen killers get raped in jail, homie. Killers, niggas who, you know, got guns and think they all this. And I done seen them niggas get raped in jail. Get their ass beat, cuz. That's why I say, so what, a motherfucker, uh, got tattoos, tote guns, and throw up gang signs, cuz. That don't make a motherfucker no crip to me, cuz. I done seen some of the downest niggas cuz go down. I'm like, wow, cuz. You know what I mean? But man, I wish we had Raymond cuz. I swear, cuz, man. In redemption, cuz, Tookie said it was the Brims or something tried to kill him, shot first or something. Because uh, that's hard to explain. Because uh, I thought Salty was the first dude killed in Compton. Then you know they kicked off these wars or whatever. But it was somebody else. They say it was killed on Call. Uh, somebody brother was killed on Caldwell and uh, on the corner of Caldwell and something way before Salty. And they they was blaming the Pyrus for that. And I always wonder why Salty was on them Pyru. So it could have been a reason that was the reason. You know, because they say Salty, you know, he he, he, he he was putting hands on motherfuckers. He's like, let's get down, nigga. That, you know, <laughs> they, they say old Salt Rock Cub was like, nigga, let's get down. You know, he, he was one of those homies like, nigga, let's get down, homie. And it get back his shit up, cuz. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, so uh, it, it's hard to pinpoint, man, who, who was doing the shooting first, homie? Who started out the shooting first, homie? But what I can tell you, if they was shooting each other before October the 9th, 1976, the day they, the night they, the day they killed Salty, that's when Compton didn't get, Comp, that's when Compton got really bad. Was was after the death of Salty, and then uh, I got to put this in a bowl or something. That I can't get it to hit. But then, like Salty was killed October the 9th, nineteen seventy six. Bullet was killed March twenty first, twenty second, seventy eight. So October, November, December, January, February. April, May, June, July, 
August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Bully was killed uh, 15 months, 17 months, or something like that after Softy. And then Compton got worse, huh? When the, when the Santanas and the Lutus Park War started, it got worse. And then, then with the war with us and the Lutus Park Pyrus, our war with the the whole Pyrus started. Because all the Pyrus was getting on us, whether they was East Side, Lime Hoods, Am Lanes, Lutus Park mobs. Uh, you know, they had another one, a little hood over there, Lindsley Hood. You know, they a little sneaky one. They, they blast on us in front of my mama house one day. But check this out. <laughs> the corporate was a relative. He told the motherfuckers what, what was going on. And uh, so when it happened, uh, my brother recognized. He said, hey, cuz, that was so and so. That nigga just over the other day with his mama now. And I said, what? And so we would say, mama, what went on there? And she said, oh, they stay over there. Um, they stayed on Lindsley, as a matter of fact. See, they stay on there. Man, we jumped in the car and bailed over there. Woo! And tell Auntie, we said, what's happening with, with Cubs? Why he gonna have them niggas come over and shoot at the house? She said, what? I said, yeah, they just came over and shoot at the house. I think he was in the car when he wasn't even home. You know what I mean? Own relative, cuz that was some cold shit, man. <clears throat> we still didn't understand how we didn't get hit that night. See the city bus. She don't want to ride the city bus. Because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out is the truth i already know yeah I'm spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, set, go, go. Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go. We bout the to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. Yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. 
just paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize Men of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah But we got down, man. We had to get down the treetop, through town, west side, I mean, Campanella. All of them, man. We, all of them got on us and we fought them back, man. I mean, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's when it got bad to me. Now, if, if they was killing back then, before them times, like in 75, 74, 73, and so on, then it 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 wasn't causing no issues. Well, we, it was wars breaking out over them or whatever. I mean, if guys was getting killed, I mean, maybe I don't know if they was on the wrong or, or whatever the case may be, but. The shit wasn't getting out of line. I mean, it wasn't causing the wars and shit behind it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I heard of a few fights with uh, I know uh, one of the homies stabbed a, a paru in a in a fight at a party and he died and and stuff like that back in the early day. But uh, shit wasn't escalating. When I went to jail, it. It wasn't that bad. The salty thing was just starting up, cuz, you know, salty got killed, and Tam and Bartender got killed, and everybody was getting shot up and can on type of stuff, cuz, at that time. But it wasn't high murder counts in the city. And then I went to jail May 31st, cuz, 1977, cuz. Then Bully got killed while I was in jail. And then when Bully got killed, cuz it was bad as fuck out there. And I was like, what? Damn, oh, motherfuckers was dropping like flies, cuz. Homies was going to jail for murder and all kinds of shit. And I'm like, wow, this, this on life messed stuff. But, but I really wasn't out there. And, uh, and, uh, at the time I went, my neighborhood, it wasn't getting along with each other, man. The, the Oaks Park in the Midtown, homies wasn't getting along. And I had, uh... I had stopped claiming Midtown and started claiming Rose, man, my own little block, cuz. Because of that, I didn't want to have nothing to do with going against Oaks Park and that shit, man. I'm like, cut them the homies too, cuz I ain't gonna be. I'm like, I ain't gonna be fighting them, cuz. They the homies, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be doing that shit, man. And it was 1975. I was a young kid, cuz. And I stood up against, it was 1975, I was a young dude. And I stood up then, cuz, and said I wasn't gonna do it. You know, I didn't go with the crowd. I said, no, cuz, I'm not doing it, homie. I ain't gonna be fighting them, cuz. And, uh, but when Bully got killed, cuz, that brought the hood together. When they killed Kim Tate, cuz, the, re- the reason for Santana, cuz, is Kim Tate. Anybody else tell y'all different, it's a lie. There's some other homies instrumental to that, though. Uh, Jeffrey Brown, 
even Lil Wynn from the South Side, rest in peace. Uh, Alan D, Ping, uh, them dudes right there is like the original Santanas. Them, them names I done ringed off. Them dudes, cuz. Them was the Santanas when everybody else was Midtown, Oaks Park, Tucker Block, you know, something like that. And them dudes was the Santanas, cuz. Them dudes, Allen D, Ping, uh, Bullet, Jeffrey Brown, Wynn, uh, uh, I'm missing a few more because they come to my head in a little while. Like I say, you know, your boy older because I be taking my mega reds, man, <laughs> for my brain boots, you know. They could be forgetting shit, but uh, yeah. But uh, when Bullock died, that brought the hood together. Because I was in jail when that happened. The first one to tell me that was uh, was the White Jackson, Scatter Man from Atlantic Drive, rest in peace. He the one told me, say, Sag, your hood's Santana Block now, cuz. Y'all wear black rags, huh? He the one told me. Then he sent me pictures. He was sending me pictures and shit. When he got out, he was looking out for me. He sent me pictures and money, all this shit. Cuz, cuz is good, man. Good dude, cuz from Atlanta. You some good dudes from Atlanta. I seen Killer Mike was on you. Hey, good morning, big bro. Good morning, Mr. Jimmy. Mr. Jimmy Lavender, y'all. I love that man right here, man. Good dude. Good man. And, and, and any moment I get to rub some elbows with him, I do. So. Bro, look, be looking to see me soon, though, bro, because I got some things to do in Los Angeles. I'm just trying to settle in into this home, get my wife them situated in, in, into this place, and then uh, I'm going to head on out there, bro. Now, I'm, I'm going to make it uh, I'm going to make it a point to see you when I get there. Yeah. But, yeah, like I was saying, man, it got bad, man, when I got to jail, man, and then... And when I came home, man, it was real. The violence was real, man. Gun violence, man. Nobody wasn't fighting no more. Nobody was fighting anymore, bro. They they just got to shooting and shooting and shooting. And then the drugs, man, enhanced it. The drugs, they, they started. When drug money came into the ghettos, they started putting the the, 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 the heavy-duty guns on the market for us. They started giving us assault rifles and uh, guns that shoot 18 times and, 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 and all this, you know, 17 times for one thing. You get 18, you get these extended clips. All of a sudden, you can get 40 shots, 30 shots, you know. They just started giving us more and more bullets to kill ourselves with. They just start feeding the bear. They say, okay, these black folks, they're using guns now. Give them guns, they they kill it. So they feed the bear. Feed the bear. I've heard stories about them parking trains and leaving them wide open with guns. I done heard Pablo dudes got guns. The guys in Oakland and Richmond got guns off the tracks, off the car. Uh, <laughs> I done heard rumors of, of stories of that, that type of stuff. This is everything. Oh, a colony is coming. But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge now, doing enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come on, son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a way straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleep, I'ma fall. But she said she love me, she wanna hug me, and but she starts getting told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be on what you can see and do. 
daylight, baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns, I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Yeah What are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage Cause what could we do? While Rome is collapsing But not in a day, we'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll Pull up the map then Cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know, you only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't owe nothing to no one Darling, just listen, it'll be just like starting and over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Wanna be on a beach somewhere Get kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window Is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle with a knife, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing in memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, a mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave When we got into drugs, not only was we, you know, killing our minds and poisoning our bodies, we 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 financed guns and and and, 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 and killed ourselves with bullets and stuff too. So, and then you know the, the murder rate, the count, you know, went up. We 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 was killing a couple thousand by the year in Los Angeles, man. I mean, it it was fucking bad, bro. It was bad. I mean, black gangs was killing black gangs and Mexican gangs was killing Mexican gangs. We was just slaughtering each other, man. We was filling up the, the youth authorities in the prisons, man, with murderers. You know what I'm saying? And they also took advantage of us with drugs and put millions of us behind bars for drugs. You know, it was all a genocide, it was all a trap, man, and, and we, 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 we fed into it, you know, we, we went for the okie doke there's, there's no other excuse. We went for it. You know, it, it was a time us black folks, we thought the motherfucking dope game belonged to us, like that shit was ours. Come on, cuz. Then we turn around and see how much money Escobar <laughs> and all the other guys, all the money, you motherfuckers got houses, money stacked in, empty houses, no furniture, nothing with money stacked to the ceilings in every room. And they were shipping that money back to Colombia to them. 
You know what I mean? They 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 benefit better than us. You know, they people all they did, they people manufactured the 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 the, 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 the poppy or the whatever the some plants called that they used to make cocaine, cocoa plants or whatever. You, you know, then all the villagers in their country and shit got you know, got a little money working for them, you know, stepping on them cocoa plants, processing that dough, whatever, and they all was paid well for that, you know what I mean? So you know, them people uh, in them other countries, they took the money and built their countries and their communities up. And while ours went down, we didn't build ours up. Only a few guys had some success with drugs. But the cold thing about it, it you know, they, it, it wasn't no truthful, f- fruitful reward for many of them that did that, bro. You know. You know. A lot of them guys, man, who made it rich, man, in the dope games. A lot of them, they, they ain't got something. They ain't, they ain't got nothing to show for it today, cuz. You know. Some of them didn't make good investments, you know, do right with that money, man. You know, so. You know. But you know the the thing is with me, man. I, I'm I'm against the violence, bro. I'm against the violence, bro. It, 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 it's been enough for that, man. It's been enough for that, y'all. We using we using these guns on us on the wrong people, man. We're using these guns to, to to resolve issues that 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 ain't worn to death, man. Some things can be talked and discussed and worked out, bro. I mean, come on now, man. Come on, man. We 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 smarter than that, bro. You know. Once you, once you kill a person, man, it, it ain't no getting it back, cuz. But enough of that violence, man. You know. A lot of, a lot of stuff these young men dying for today, man, it's, it, it, it ain't worth it, ain't worth it, cuz. It ain't worth it, man. My, you know, it... Well, it a lot of a lot of stuff don't warrant death, cause it don't warrant death. You know what I mean? You know, you, you don't have to kill a man or, or, or for, for 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 certain things. Come on, man. Come on, cuz. Put them guns down, homie. Yeah, Miss Scott. I mean. Sh- we, we, we ran around like chickens with our head cut off during the dope era. Thought we was doing something. We wasn't doing shit but poisoning our people and tearing down our motherfucking communities. That's all we did with that, John. Yeah, a few niggas wrote, ro- ro- you know, a few niggas got fly, got a few pretty cars and this and that and that out the deal and all that. A lot of guys been killed. You know, a lot of guys put in... Plenty of years in prison behind that shit. You know what I mean? And wish they can have them years back. How many wish they can have them years back, cuz? You know what I mean? Be honest. Look how rich Felix Mitchell was, cuz, and he died in prison, man. Died in prison. Come on, cuz. You know? Come on, man, look at Frank Lucas. Man, he went to prison, man. He, 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 and he snitched, Tommy. So what, they was police. That's, it's still snitching. You understand? You know, when, you, when, when, when them police come rob you, they ain't police, they niggas. Let me tell you something. When them cops run in there jacking your ass, cuz they ain't cops no more. They just like them niggas that ran in there or uh, run in there and do you. You understand me? They ain't, they ain't cops no more. 
And all that comes with the territory, homie. When you're out there doing illegal shit and you're getting down that way, it's a chance you can meet some some cops who niggas. And they rob motherfuckers, kill motherfuckers, do the same shit niggas do. So if you go testify on them, it, it's no different to me. You understand? But, 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 you know, drugs didn't do a motherfucking thing for us, man. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brush her teeth I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week I have a friend who's married but he still be fucking bitches And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching I remember, hold up, sorry I forgot to mention I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention To get attention I would always used to get detention Getting suspended was my only life's mission My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life Promised my aunt I'll look after him but I lied Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese Ignoring texts from my family members every week I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down yet. Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes Bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses We gon' mix it with the little Honey Jack Got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that So much going on in the world today I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate Let me fly in the sky like birds I'm using my imagination to script it with the words So let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above Hop in the scat, take a ride with me 485 horsepower Hear me? Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man it's Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor Incoherent, sober up, then I do it again Check me out. Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play the skin to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast maneuver like Jet Li Translation man I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion Oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion Oh slow motion